Ah, the Jaeger. They think they're so smart, attempting to trick Link. They deserve to be punished. What's your favourite way of punishing them? I like ant calls. Well, they do like bananas. What a way to go. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. I think Tulin might need to go on a diet. Really helpful, Tulin. This is Ultra's most advanced drone yet. It's highly autonomous and can take out entire groups of enemies at a distance. I'll speed up this next part so you can see it gradually tear through this entire pack of mobs. One very important part of this build worth mentioning, it has a dragon scale on the back. Why? Adding a dragon scale to your build prevents it from despawning when it moves too far away from you. I've included the parts list on screen. While there's no build guide, Ultra did include a 360 walk around so you can figure out how to build this thing. Have you ever seen the blue peas sniff? Guess I better stop shooting them. So you can hold two-handed weapons in one hand, although it does look kind of weird. To do it, just put your shield up, then press Y when you're not holding a weapon. Sinbeard built a contraption that lets Yonobo the Hedgehog do what Yonobo the Hedgehog does best. Just got to carefully get him into position, then let him rip. Friendly reminder to use a Mulduga jaw weapon combined with bone proficiency armor. Keep an eye on that HP bar. Yeah. 
so fans of BattleBots may remember Tombstone. He's the black coloured robot in this clip. Baron Von Erich has recreated the monster in TOTK and the design actually holds up pretty well. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. Back in episode 31 I talked about the fuse entanglement glitch which allows you to control Zonai parts remotely. Mio Honda has taken that concept one step further and has built a remote control plane using fuse entanglement. To try and explain how this works as best I can, the glitch works by fusing shields, which you can see on the wings here, with the shock emitters on the ground. Turning the wheel powers the respective shock emitter, which sends electricity up to the respective shrine propeller on the wings. Simple, right? What happens if you complete the regional phenomena quest before speaking to Pura? What? Hmm. So yesterday, we talked about the discovery that wings do not despawn if they have enough lift to prevent them from gliding. Long story short, it's the glide time that causes them to lose durability. Lunar Sequius is now evolving that concept to create new hyper-efficient and hyper-maneuverable vehicles. This costs just 18 Zonite to build, and it'll fly for 30 minutes straight with 5.5 battery cells using Zonite armor, which is insane. As you can probably see, the build uses the flux drive for propulsion. The handling on this thing is truly insane, it's like a fighter jet. Or, if you want to deal an insane amount of damage without even lifting your weapon, just strap on some lightning resistant armour. That's a lot of damage. This early concept for a tripod build by Wee-San is very interesting. It kind of reminds me and a few others on Reddit of that gorilla tripod I used for my DSLR.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.